Hello guys, welcome to the channel, hoping that you're good. So behind me on the background is Abdul Ibrahim, the head of the Safa referees. He has now touched on the matter of Imamiloti Sundowns and obviously we've seen how coach Roland Mokwena was so dissatisfied even after the game. He went on to talk about how embarrassing it is in terms of our officials and he was asking if we have VAR who were the officials talking to. Now the Safa head of referees have, has addressed this issue and he also talks about you saw the goal guys right? You saw the goal that Mango scored controversial if i can say because there's different points of views but i already gave you my opinion that that was a goal because uh when ulunga was trying to head the ball to mvala unsuccessfully so he headed the ball but it didn't go to the desired destination it went somewhere else where mango was in an advantageous position and it was a goal and it's not like it's a deflection that comes from the opponent if that was a deflection it would have been offside but it was intentional it was deliberate heading the ball but anyway this is not about me today we're talking about the Safa head of referees what is he saying about this incident he says which i'm concerned uh, at uh, you know seeing referees make errors but i'm not saying what happened uh, you know uh, against sundowns was an error a lot of people may know the law of the game but don't know the application of the law including the coaches right i'm also surprised by the suggestion that the referee was communicating with someone outside the field it's only the referees uh, the assistants and the fourth official who have comms no one else they communicate to give their views on what they saw they don't have access to replays you know so there is no var guys you know and the the safa head of referees also says Uti, no offside no offside you know there's no offside and the var allegations coming from uh who coach ran mukwena have also been addressed and what is the safa head of referees saying let me repeat again he's saying that it's only the referees the assistants and the fourth official who have comms no one else so coach rulani there is no var and everyone else including myself i was asking Uti, and what's going on you know but the head of referees have responded but that was not offside guys and yes there are other former referees like who was it victor Tlungwane? he says that's actually uh, he said good rulani has a point he says uh, you know uh, this new rule is really confusing the law book of uh, on on offside one says that the ball must have traveled from a distance and the player had a clear view of it you know yes lunga saw it the ball was not moving quickly and the direction of the ball was not unexpected you know so he says with, with these two requirements we can say that mango's goal can stand but there's one requirement that that jelly tavani didn't look at and what does uh, victor Luan say he says that the player had time to coordinate their body movement you know today here we can see that divine lunga is backpedaling which means that he's not in control of his body here we can say that it should have been offside because all the requirements were not made again a ball moving on the ground is easier to play than a ball on the air lunga was on uh, the air when he headed the ball it was always hard to control the ball on air so we can say that all the requirements were not met it's an offside guys according to victor Lohane, that is offside you understand but according to the head of safari referees that's not a wrong decision it's actually onside there's no offside and the goal was right, right rightfully stood you know and there's no var so yeah it's up to you guys to make your own conclusions but the head of safari referee has spoken and like i said before the decision has already been made the results are already recorded we can talk after all we want but it is what it is